So first I'll show you guys how to track a scene on uh, Nuke X and export that track data, the track camera, into Blender. So what you want to do is open up Nuke X. I've got the non-commercial version uh, running for this uh, tutorial. Now the reason I prefer to track my scene, uh, scenes uh, using Nuke is Nuke is a much more powerful tool compared to Blender and the tracking data is is way more accurate and I I've, I've personally find it to be a lot more simpler. Now this is a bit of an intermediate tutorial so you will need to have a little bit of a background in Nuke but I'll, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So it'll look like this. What you want to do is drag and drop your scene into this uh, node graph right here. So I've got my scene set up, and you want to connect this node to the viewer, just like uh, Blender Compositor. So it'll show up. And what you want to do is uh, press Tab and look up Camera Tracker, and you'll get a node like this. What you want to do is drag and drop it on this line, which is connecting to the video and the viewer. And you get a bunch of options right here. Now you can look into uh, this stuff. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on what to do, but I like to leave it as default. Now, for example, if you know the camera details, you can just change it. For example, um, I had a free camera. The I'm not sure about the lens that was used. It was a Canon camera, but I'm just going to leave it at default. And then what you want to do is simply hit track, and it'll start tracking the scene. So after that's done, you want to click on Solve, and it will give you the error right now. This is fine for the sake of the tutorial, but there's always uh, things you can go and fix. Now, what you want to do is select your ground point. Now, there's various types of tracking, but since this is uh, just a just a flat fee, uh, road, I'm going to select the points that are on the ground. So you can um, highlight them if you want and just shift select and get a few points like this get as many as you can that are in the correct position and simply right click ground plane and set to selected then what you want to come to uh, what you want to do is come here to the camera and select scene and go create you'll see you get a bunch of other nodes uh, in your node graph. What you want to do, uh, the last step, is double click on this camera and you'll get this uh, this new window right here. You want to click on this folder icon and go export.chan file and you want to export it to um, a, a location. I usually export it to my desktop but you can export it anywhere you want. Now you want to rename it right here so I'm just going to say test dot chan and go enter now if I go on my desktop see that there it is the dot chan file and that's the file that we're going to take into blender and that's the file that's uh, containing all the track data so what you want to do is open up blender and go to your text editor now there's uh, there's quite a bit of coding that uh, that you need to um, write here. It's it, nobody's gonna memorize all this, so you want to just copy and paste it. This is the code that you'll need. I'll put the link in the um, description box. So it's very simple. All you want to do is just highlight all of it. Just down to here. Copy it. Go back to Blender and just paste it. Sorry, I'll select new and paste it. One thing I forgot is you want to have your camera selected. Don't have anything else, so just just make sure your camera is selected, and then go run script. And it'll ask you to locate that .chan file. So you want to go to your desktop and select it right there. Now before you go import, you want to make sure that's at ZXY, that's how the new camera works. Now, if it's any different on your system and you've changed it on Nuke, make sure you have the same exact rotation order as Nuke. By default, it should be ZXY. Then, what you want to do is go import chan file, and you'll see that you get some uh, keyframes. Now, if you go back to your camera, 
just uh, get rid of these two. You'll see that your camera is now animated. And it's all tracked. So if I look to the camera and just um, set my video as my background image. You'll see that it's all track to the uh, ground. So if I if I set up a plane right here on the ground field, you'll see that it's fully aligned with our tracked scene. And uh, that's it for the tutorial, you guys. I understand it's a bit of an intermediate tutorial. Um, I'll upload all these files um, um, onto on, onto my drive and put the link in the description box for you guys to download and try out. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the, in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.